Right, so this video is my uh, wife's bug out sort of inch bag. Um, so you can see the size of that one, you can see the size of mine, so quite a hefty size difference, I've got to say. Um, uh, that's understandable, really. I'm not the biggest of guys, but uh, I can definitely sort of pack more weight taking than, than the wife can, so it has to be smaller. So this is a little, just a little 30 litre. Uh, a camo bag. I've got the kids on these each now as well, and these are just literally um, about eight pound on on eBay. You can get them down to, so they don't cost the earth. Um, you can get them in different colours as well. You can get them in black and all sorts, so like tan or whatever. So if you, you know, if you literally want one that's um, you know, hidden, there we go. So right, I've got the wife just a, a smaller, smaller tarp, so big enough you could put a shelter underneath it. At least, if you need to, at the end of the day. Um, right, and then same sort of system. I've gone for modular. I really do think modular is the best idea because you can literally just take off what you need. There we go. So very similar again. Rat traps and steel wire. So I'm not going to get them out on this video. Um, I might get out this little stove actually, just to just to show you what the stove is like. Um, this. Some of the places on eBay and stuff, they can charge you about £15. Um, you can get them for a lot cheaper than that. This is about £6. Uh, it sticks, sticks some matches in it. And there you go, it's just one of the ones you just, you just sort of build up. Um, you know, just sort of put together. Um, so, me and the wife both get one of them. So, you know, a few little twigs and stuff, you can have a fire. You could literally just use the temp pegs and stuff, but... Um, you know, you, you want some sort of form, I, I want some sort of form and normality and um, if you don't have normality and even some comforts, you are literally you're going to get very, very depressed very quickly um, uh, so that, that is why things like the food variation are so very, very important because if you don't have food variation you will literally just you will get depressed very very depressed right so moving on to uh, let's move on to the side pouches uh, so that's just one of the older older waterproof uh, covers um, I'll, I'll use the bigger ones when I need to uh, that one's just literally empty so that's got nothing in at the moment and obviously you don't want it 100% full because you know you do want to take extra bits and pieces with you um, yeah, see, so literally on the counter. Uh, water bottle in that one. Uh, I thought that was just a, yeah, it's just a cheapy aluminium one, unfortunately. But obviously, I've got the other modular stainless steel to go on yet. There's uh, obviously enough places to sort of stick it on anyway. Um, one thing on these bags was the straps aren't long enough, so literally just I uh, just bought some 20 20 mil webbing. Uh, probably better to get like 30 or so. Um, it'll make it a bit wider, but hey, that's what I've got at the time. Um, plastic bag. I have no idea why. So that one's empty as well. So you can see most of these side ones are actually empty on the wife's, which will probably come quite in handy. Um, and these are literally just the German magazine pouches. I think I think they were literally like a pound each. Uh, I did have to modify them a bit with some cable ties to get them to, to connect on because of whatever system they used. But, uh, in Germany, um, but it works, it's attached. Right, so we'll go straight for the main one, I think. Uh, wow, well, I have no idea it's in this one. It's obviously not a toolkit. Oh, yeah, it is, it's the start of a toolkit. Uh, so I've just got some metal saw blades in that one. Um, nah, that's quite a new addition. Uh, another another water bottle, uh, literally, just, just what you've got hanging around it. The reason I picked these is because they've got the, the rubber seals in the top and it is pretty pretty good at being waterproof actually. Uh, another little dry bag. Um, so the same as before sort of set up so you know the whole you can build your fishing reel uh, just spools of extra fishing lengths that's 300 meters of 4.5 kilo so yeah, that's, quite, that's a big enough fish, isn't it? Uh, right. 
camping uh, just literally just sort of a camping cooking set uh, I say literally uh, some of like the mess tins so little metal bowl um, yeah, just tins and lids and stuff all, all just put in together with some little metal plates uh, hopefully it's all stainless steel I should expect so being a camping set and there you go it just all goes neatly in it's that lovely little bag there little little thing bag um, and again, it's just about having normality, even if you don't sort of cook in it. Um, it's still there. More foil. So, with the other bag, that's 60 metres of foil. Which is quite a fair old, fair old bit. Um, just some bowls and just some cups. Um, you, know, you need to eat out of something. So, it's just three little bowls there and some, uh, some cups. I don't know why three bowls, actually. Should probably, probably add some more in. Compartment. There we go, that's where I put it. Uh, so, with that pouch thing I got from mine, there you go, Battlefield Army. And it's, it's quite basic, but it is down and to the point. What was that person doing? You know, ship off injured soldier. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. Right, again, big poncho, torch. Head torch. As you can see it's not really too different here. Um, a whole load of cutlery, knives, forks and spoons. So a bit of weight to that, which is why I was looking at the plastic ones instead. Um, so I could put them in in a minute actually. Uh, a whole sewing kit. Uh, it's not just because she's one chuck the sewing kit in, because I've got a little sewing kit as well. But there you go, um, it can come in a little box, so it's not too big. Um, Another fold out saw because there you go, that is just you know, such a such a must have for chopping anything down. More cable ties. You think if you've got some trees and twigs and you know, you try and build a shelter and make it a bit more robust, you could use them just temporarily. Right, into here, button compass, a couple more knives, some pens, and just some siding light sticks. So that, there you go, you know. Let there be light, and there was light uh, because it was a chemical light stick. Right. Just a bit of hygiene in the top here, so then just hand wipes and snot bags, i.e., tissues. So just, just something there. You can see, these are which is modular, but boom, just pull them out as you need to. Right, and then last little section at the bottom here. So there you pull that strap out of the way Boom. time today there you go right. so, last but not least on the main bag is hand gel some lighters one of those little knives uh, no it's not a little knife is it uh, fire lighters yeah just lighters and just some of those little towels. So just just more hygiene stuff really. Just yeah, just anything to keep normality going. Because you're gonna need it. Especially you know, especially if you've not got a tolerance. I'm not gonna say if you're a girl or whatever, because that's not always true. Um but yeah, just just generally on your tolerance levels. So right, exactly the same as what I've got on mine, so this, this is the one that did come with my pouch so you can see that one's a fair bit smaller uh, but you can see again, just a little one of the little folding saws and yeah, that's the one with the little compass on why you'd stick a compass on a big chunk of metal I don't know um, right then just some garden gloves in the side I will change it to those other gloves, those thin ones you get a fair few more in um, mosquito fly net and uh, a shimog um, just, just have a look at the different styles. Um, obviously, you can just make it up if you sort of triangle it, so we can do SAS style. Oh, yeah. Right. So, life is online, so just an X door, and as you can see, it's just connected on by these sort of clippy bits just to make sure it doesn't vanish. Um, right. LED torch. Oh, I did have one in mine actually, I don't know where that one's gone. Uh, some hand warmers just in case 
another light stick because obviously this this little module here is the bag for if you need to if you need to ditch everything else um, then there you go hopefully there's enough on there to just just to keep going uh, one of those little fold out knives again little notebook uh, whistle and just a little pencil as well so that's all in that compartment then we've got the main compartment so it's all very similar. One of the water straws. So not opened. And there you go. I think you need to suck a water litre through or something first. Uh, foil sleeping bag. Emergency ones. One of the foil ponchos as well. Another 30 metres of paracord. Um, yeah. That's the main bag that backs out. Just a load of little candles, just, just warmth, just niceness. You know, just, just light in the dark. Um, obviously it's not going to last forever, but they'll keep your hope up for a short while. Right, and then because in mine I had the little survival tin, um, obviously need something similar from the wife's. Uh, so obviously if I was to leave mine, we need all this stuff still. So literally all those little towels, little matches in there. Um, and a Kinder Egg, uh, even more water purification tablets, just some batteries to keep torches going just short term, uh, just another multi tool, wire saw, another one of those little fishing kits, teeny tiny knife, um, I'll show you this, it's quite cute actually, um, yeah, nothing to it, um, yeah, and just some lighters and stuff. So again, just sort of generally it's just a pile of maniac, I guess. Uh, but yeah, um, so there we go. It's generally a scaled down version of mine, um, but it does have you know sort of different cooking set, a few cooking utensils, um, just just bits and pieces like that. Um, not quite the knowledgey books and stuff, but then it's about lugging the weight around. Um, so that's no, generally it. oh yes and. Again, just just one of the little uh, sort of sit down sheets. I think it's about 1.8 by 0.9 meters, something like that. You know, something you could lie down on if you needed to, or you know, you could stick over your head as a shelter. So just very small but basic. So that that is the wife's bug out bag. Um, I think since I am on such a roll, I'll do the kids in a minute, and I'll convert them to uh, their newer bags as well. Uh, so as you can see, uh, they've got exactly the same bags, and then I've modified the underneath so that you can put sleeping bags and stuff on. Uh, as you can see, that one has frayed. Uh, went for a walk in the Peak District, and it decided to unravel for a good few hundred meters. Uh, so literally had to snap it. So yeah, not not the, not the best of things, but yeah. So yeah, I didn't go and see the see the size of my beastie sort of extra carry bag compared to compared to that one so a bit of a size difference but uh, it's all about what you can carry as well and what you find most essential and I think uh, most of this stuff here uh, it's got a purpose and it's got other purposes and you really need to make sure you get things with as many purposes as you can get hold of because uh, just having one purpose is not really going to be too useful in a survival situation just going Oh yes, I've got this, um, I don't know, because everything's generally got more than one purpose anyway. You know, you've just got to use your imagination and it, you really have, um, well, probably apart from batteries. Um, unless you want to zap your tongue or something and they can, uh, I don't know, do some weird things anyway. So there you go, so the wife's bug out bag is nowhere near 100% full, so that's so that you can get clothes in there. Um, obviously you can carry food as well, uh, it's definitely food, so it's just food and clothing generally and then straps underneath again for sleeping bags and if I can just find it, uh, where is it, yeah there it is, just a little teeny tiny camouflage tent which was about £15 on, on eBay, got one of them and then I've got another little two man sort of, uh, sort of tents which each tent weighs one and a half kilos, something like that. So, 
Well, he's absolutely next to nothing with human being a few days, fine. Um, literally got a gigantic sort of 10 man teepee, which, um, if you can take your car and everything, great, you know, take everything you can, because uh, that is the one other thing as well, and that is what you can take. Um, so, uh, literally, there you go, one double fold out camping bears, because my daughter had a, had a sleepover yesterday, and now she's gone for a sleepover, and then nice big thick warm double sleeping bag yeah. freeze get very really cold so um yeah think about all the things you sort of need for camping sleeping mats pillows and that's that's why in, like the extra sections got like the uh, blow up um camping pillows and stuff uh just you know not good long term but good short term at least anyway so yeah let let me know um if there's anything else you'd take and uh, I guess the only one thing is feminine hygiene and that sort of time in the month and things like that um, would probably be one to to look at or just add some in I guess uh, but if you can think of anything on say a a woman's or sort of partner's uh, generally someone who's not going to be carrying as much weight with them uh, bag uh, please let me know um, yeah thanks